Hello everyone, thanks for joining us on CMY Central. Meteorologist Mike Brookins here. We're cruising along on cruise control, I think, for this 4th of July weekend. A-OK, -okay, no problems. We kicked it off with a decent day on 4th of July. There were some spotty showers, warming temperatures for this Saturday with lots of sunshine and wait till you see the forecast for Sunday. I think it only gets nicer. Temperatures did, though, get warmer than what we had on the 4th of July. It was better for doing some swimming. We were one of the warm spots in upstate New York. Taking a look at those high temperatures, you'll see 80 degrees here, but this is the highest hourly temperature on the hours. In between the hours, we did do a degree better. It was 81 over in Glens Falls, 80 in Albany, and mid-70s in some spots down towards Binghamton, even lower 70s in Watertown. Uh, cool flow off of Lake Ontario. Taking a look at the Almanac today started off cool. We were 56, four degrees below average, but a nice temperature rebound getting up to normal. Look at that record high temperature, the century mark on this day, July 5th in 1911. Well, here's what we expect overnight. Another great night for camping. If there are any fireworks displays still out there. Uh, whatever it may be, we've got mild temperatures turning comfortably cool by late at night. Skies will be mainly clear, so at times partly cloudy, other times clear. Really no problems. I don't even think we see fog for tonight. And any breeze we had in the afternoon should die off very quickly tonight. As we go through tomorrow, more great weather, lots of sunshine. Now we'll notice some clouds starting to work in for the afternoon, so not maybe as bright, maybe a little dull sunshine. But we continue with the low humidity and the temperatures get warmer. We're going to be well into the 80s for tomorrow. Looking ahead to Monday, humidity's back. So it's a next chance for rain with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Chance for rain tonight, about nil, 0%. There you see the future cast and the reason why. We've got high pressure up to our northwest and west. The remnants of Arthur, now just an extratropical low pressure system racing off into eastern Canada. And the wind's slackening as it does so, and the high pressure builds in, giving us a nice clear sky. And maybe at times a couple of patchy clouds. Starting off tomorrow morning, it'll be cool. Want to do some yard work, some exercise. First couple of hours of the day, excellent. Probably doing so myself. Now, as we go into the afternoon, a little bit better for swimming. Still mostly sunny at 11 a.m. I think towards noon, it's a blend of sun and high thin clouds. And we do turn partly sunny by late in the afternoon, but precipitation stays free and clear of central New York. Some spots could be near the 40s very early in the morning. You see these blue areas to the east southeast of Syracuse. But I think we'll already be off to the races, climbing through the upper 50s into the 60s during the morning, 70s and 80s during the afternoon. Watch as we put this into motion. You see the yellows and oranges coming on the map. So a lot warmer to finish the day, but still low humidity. So it'll be a pleasant warmth. Here's your hour by hour forecast. As we go through the night, a few puffy clouds early on, then it turns clear and then a few high thin clouds possible. Winds will be dying down out of the southwest. Nice and light here. We'll be down to 60 degrees at 2 o'clock in the morning with temperatures again going below average. So it'll be comfortably cool late at night. 56 in Syracuse, but the coldest areas could get into the upper 40s towards the Adirondacks. Starting off mostly sunny. What a gorgeous looking sky we're talking about towards midday. A mix of sun and clouds. Quick rising temperatures with low humidity and a light breeze. It does turn a bit breezy for the afternoon hours. You see the winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. 84 are high and partial sunshine from 2 o'clock onwards. Late Sunday night, isolated shower or thunderstorm. Going through Monday, scattered showers and storms with humidity 86. It'll be breezy. A few more showers and storms Tuesday, especially in the afternoon. They become isolated by Thursday morning.